Kettlebell goblet squats, fantastic exercise for those legs and glutes. And today I'm gonna to give you five simple tips to help you goblet squat with a kettlebell like a pro. What's up guys, it's Max, owner of Max's Best Bootcamp, and we're live on this video. If you're watching this after the live broadcast, say hello, let us know where you're watching from. We're gonna get right into this video. Tip number one is the grip. Now there's two grip options that I wanna recommend for you. One is, especially if you're using one of these smaller kettlebells, these cast iron kettlebells, is just right on the horns, just like this, great option. And that's what you see most of the time on our goblet squat. So the grip, very important, but I also wanna show you another grip that we use here at the boot camp, and this works great for these cast iron kettlebells, also the bigger pro-grade kettlebells, and that's what we call the globe grip right here. Can you guys see that? Yep, right here. So grip is the first thing that we wanna work on. Now, you can play around with that. I actually prefer the globe grip, but right now I'm gonna keep going by showing you holding it on the reins. And the second tip to goblet squat with kettlebells is your stance. Now, squat stance, your strongest goblet squat stance is gonna be just outside the shoulder width. So I want you to go just outside the shoulder width and then open the toes out about 10 to 30 degrees at the most. And that's just a comfort thing wherever you feel most comfortable. And I'm gonna give you a quick tip. You can put your kettlebell down and just jump in the air. However you land, that's gonna be more or less the stance that's gonna be perfect for you. And everybody likes it a little differently, but the strongest position for you is gonna be just outside the shoulder width. So stance, very important. Now, tip number three is a mistake that we see all the time with new clients coming in who really have never trained before or have been doing it wrong. So, and that is the tailbone tucked in. And so what we see is this, don't do this right here. How's that look? It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Okay, but you can see the tailbone is coming straight down and that's really gonna, we're gonna hurt the back and also we're never gonna really target the glutes and the legs properly like this and it ends up being a very weak position, bad for the knees. So instead, what should you do? We like to think about this cue as the first action step on your goblet squats and that is butt out. Now these principles apply whether you're doing goblet squats with a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a medicine ball, they all work really great. So let me show you a couple more reps, what we're looking at with the butt out. So the first action, stick your butt out. Stick it back as far away from your body as you can. Butt out, sit down into it. A couple good reps. Butt out, come on up, good. So the first cue that we like to think about is butt out, and the second cue, and this is tip number four, to goblet squat like a pro, is actually knees out. Let's try this other grip here. This is the most common grip you'll see, but play around with the glow grip as we were talking about in tip number one. Knees out, knees out. The most common thing that we see wrong, besides the tailbone tucking under, uh, and, and not sticking the butt out, like in tip number three, is the knees caving in. Ooh, that's horrible for the knees. And we wanna be good to the knees, and actually, if you do goblet squats properly, you're gonna strengthen all the areas around the knee, and that's gonna bulletproof the knees. Whether you're into strength training and doing high intensity workouts like we do, or you're a runner, or you're a cyclist, all these things are gonna improve your knee strength. Okay, strengthening the legs around the knee. Now, knees out, here are a couple of good reps. Butt out, knees out. Those are the two main things we want you to focus on. Butt out, knees out. Nice, awesome. Here's knees in, don't do this. And I'm exaggerating so you guys can see this, the point that we're trying to make right here. And also what happens when the knees go in, a lot of times the tailbone tucks in and we hunker over with that bad posture. And that's really a bonus tip before we get into tip number five, which is our final tip here today for you. And I, I hope you guys are finding these tips helpful. 
If you are, let us know in the comments below. That's really the only way we're going to know if you guys are digging this content. And also, if you have any other ideas or tips we're missing, post those down below. We're here to share and grow together. So the bonus tip is really just posture, right? Posture, posture, chest up. And this is true whether we're doing body weight squats or we're using the kettlebell for goblet squats or a dumbbell. It's good posture, chest up. And that's something that we can all work on. You know, we're so busy driving the car like this, on the computer like this, on the phone like this, reading. Does anybody read anymore? <laughs> and then also just yeah, eating like this. And so we've got to really work on opening the chest up. And if you do it right, these exercises will actually, actually help correct your posture. So good. The final tip here, you guys, is the depth. How low can you go? And actually, how low should you go? Getting a notification on the phone. I'm just going to turn that off. Hello. How low should you go? And the thing is, you might be able to get low but it may not be good quality. So even though we're going into this butt out, knees out properly, if we go too low, sometimes we end up kind of tucking the tailbone in. And some people call this the butt wink. And so we're not gonna get into that today, but ideally you wanna go to your elbows, touch the top of your legs or inner thighs like this. So elbows down and you can see the elbows are right inside the thighs here, or at least top of the leg. That's a great depth for you. And if you look on a side profile, that's gonna be about 90 degrees. Right here, right under the leg, that angle right here, that knee hip angle, it's about 90 degrees right there. And that's a good sign of a good depth for you. And if you can't get that low, maybe the weight is too heavy. You know, it's really not about using a super heavy weight with the kettlebells. It's all about training functionally and getting that full range of motion. So the depth, try and use that cue as the elbows to the inner thigh or the top of the, top of the legs. If we're going here like this, that half rep, we're not going to be building those long, lean, toned legs because we're only using half range of motion. So anyway, you guys, that's the video today. If you have any other tips, Go ahead and drop them below. If you like this video, like it, comment, share with your friends, and thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you. Get a kettlebell and start hitting those goblet squats.